Howdy, you see? This is Aaron, Mitha Alamara, and today I'm counting down my favorite 30 records of 1972. To me, this is the top 30 records of the year. I know everyone has their own opinions on it, but this is my top 30. Um, it's a really great year in music. It's not quite as good as 70 or 71, I don't think, but it's really close. Really killer year of music. So I'll get started here with number 30. Got Genesis with Foxtrot. Great record, very experimental and uh, proggy, and, you know, Peter Gabriel right at the height of his... Uh, Creativeness, really great, great, great record here. Foxtrot, number 30. And number tw uh, 29, got one of my favorite bands. This is the Guess Who, Live at, Live at the Paramount. Really great record. Um, I believe they've released a version, which is the whole show of this, on CD recently, but I've never heard it. But this is such a great record. Um, starts off with Albert Flasher and New Mother Nature. And um, it doesn't have No Sugar Tonight because that was a Randy Bachman song. And uh, half of that... You know, um, No Sugar Tonight was Randy Bachman, New Mother Nature was Burton Cummings. Randy Bachman wasn't in the band at this time, so they did uh, Albert Flasher, New Mother Nature, which is really cool. And then American Woman is pretty much the whole, most of side two. It's like 15 minutes long, a really great jammed out version of that. They do a Running Back to Saskatoon's a great song. Really good album here. Really great live album. At number um, 28. We got Ziggy Stardust and the Spiders from Mars with The Rise and Fall of by David Bowie. Great record. It's a classic, of course. Um, great, great stuff here. Killer stuff. Um, yeah, Suffragette City was the big hit, but it's all good. Rock and Roll Suicide, Moon Age of Daydream. Killer, killer record. Number um, 27. That was 28. 27 is Obscured by Clouds by Pink Floyd. Really good record. I I just recently got this. I've heard it a lot over the years, but I, I just replayed it, and it's, I just really love this record. Great, great album. Killer, killer stuff. Pink Floyd. If you, you know, it's Pink Floyd. Number 26, we've got Thin Lizzy with Shades from a Blue Orphanage. Really great record. Not quite the sound that uh, came with them later. But this is a great record. This is a repress of this. Really great sound and repress. And it just, right off the bat, the drums at the very beginning of the song just blow me away. Killer, killer record. Thin Lizzy's very underrated. Killer band. Okay, at number 25, we've got The Magician's Birthday from Uriah Heep. Great record here, too. And I really love their covers. <laughs> Could have used that in my psychedelic one almost. It's really good. Big Uriah Heap fan. This is probably my third or fourth favorite record of theirs. It's a really good one. Great record. Uriah Heap, Magician's Birthday, at number 25. At number 24, really great band here. This is The World is a Ghetto by War. I love this record. Cisco Kid, such a great song. You know, it's all good, though. This is a great record. Really great band. So that's number um, 24, The World is a Ghetto. Number 23, we've got the Jay Giles Band with Live, Full House. And uh, old Jay Giles is very bluesy. They were a really bluesy rock band. They were really good. This album is so good. Really great, great, great stuff here. Killer record. Jay Giles Band. Okay, at number 22, we got the debut from Foghat. Not my favorite Foghat record, but it's a very solid one. It's really good. It's got, uh, you know, the first song, I Just Want to Make Love to You, is one of their biggest hits. That's a great song. A lot of people have redone it. Good album all the way through. The southern, heavier blues rock. It's really killer stuff. So Foghat there. At number 22. Number 21, we're going to Elton John with Honky Chateau. Really good record here. It's got Honky Cat, of course, and Rocket Man. Um... Good stuff. Slave. Really great record. Elton John. Okay, at number 20. Got Stevie Wonder with Talking Book. Another really great one. I've heard this since I was a kid. You know, it's got uh, Superstition on it, among other, other songs. Really great record. I like how they put the lyrics on the back cover like that. That was always cool when bands, uh, artists did that. There's the label there. But Talking Book is my start of my top 20. Number 19, 
great record barnstorm by joe walsh amazing amazing record i love this album turn to stone on here the first version of that it's a great song but this is this whole album is really good i'm a big joe walsh fan i like all this stuff that's this is one of his best records really good stuff and then at number 18 we got the slider from t-rex big t-rex fan this isn't as good as electric warrior but it's pretty good i mean it's uh got buick mccain on here which guns and roses redid on uh, the spaghetti spaghetti incident which is cool but it's a great record metal guru good stuff here t-rex and there's the label reprise records and okay number 17 got a heavy metal uh, well they weren't quite metal at this point but this is scorpions with lonesome crow really good debut um it's not quite what they became a couple albums later they really kicked it into gear but this is a good good debut here it's a i got this on a, kind of a strange label it's on the bomb label but pretty solid record And then up uh, number 17. Nope, we're at 16. This is 16. Wishbone Ash with Argus. Great record. This is a really killer album. I like this album a lot. Wishbone Ash, kind of a hard rock progressive band. Good stuff. Really good record there. Um, number 15, we got some Jethro Tull. Thick as a brick great record that i mean it's basically just one song this whole thing but it's really good and you know i've got the folds down to the newspaper and it's kind of cool kind of annoying and cool at the same time and there's the label there but you know thick as a brick great stuff probably my second favorite jethro Tull after aqualung and at number 14 probably my second or third favorite by this artist this is harvest by neil young great album it's got old man on it you know heart of gold it's a great song needle and a damage done killer stuff neil young harvest love this record okay at number 13 we've got some slade with slade very underrated hard rock band uh big influence on heavy metal great stuff here Goodbye to Jane. I, I like uh, Britney Fox's version of that. It's pretty cool. But yeah, this is really good. Mama, we're all crazy now, of course. Quite Right redid. Quite Right made a living off of Slade songs. Come on, feel the noise. Mama, we're all crazy now. Two of their biggest hits were both Slade songs. Really good album there. Okay, number 12. School's Out by Alice Cooper. Great record. Great song. Um, I don't have the inserts, but there's the old uh, label there but yeah this is a great album here love it really big fan of alice cooper number 11 the second appearance this year by the same band here this is uh demons and wizards by uriah heap one of their most probably their most commercial uh, commercially successful album because of the song easy living but this is a really great great record here it's a kind of a mind trip listening to it really good stuff love this album uh, it's kind of a cool cover where it folds over like that but yeah this is a really great record here demons and wizards wizards number 10 okay on to my top 10 in 1972 number 10 jim croce don't mess around with jim it's been a favorite of mine since i was a kid i love uh jim croce the title song is one of my favorite songs this also has time in a bottle on it you know uh great stuff operator that's not the way it feels photographs and memories new york's not my home really good album really good debut by him too bad he uh passed away so early on in his life because he only had about four records that's this is a great one here okay at number nine got the debut from the eagles great album you know take it easy peaceful easy feeling all those others great album legendary killer stuff the eagles good good record there that's number eight no that's number nine number eight got a live record here one of the best live albums of all time made in japan from deep purple this album is amazing 
a great live record. I just wish it had more songs, but it's got like a, you know, space trucking the entire, entire fourth uh, side, and it's an amazing version. It's so good. You know, smoking the water and the mule. Uh, some strange kind of woman. Lazy. Highway star and child in time. Amazing record. Every song is killer. Great stuff. Band of top form. Okay, number seven. We got some Steely Dan. Can't buy a thrill. Really, I mean, that's just an amazing debut. For their debut to have, you know, Do It Again. And, um, you know, Reeling in the Years. Great stuff. Dirty Work. Midnight Cruiser. Great album. Killer stuff. Steely Dan. Can't buy a thrill. At number seven. Number six. And it was hard for me to leave this out of my top five, I'll tell you. Son of Schmilson by Nilsson. This is almost as good, if not better, than Nilsson Schmilson. I, I, it's a toss-up for me all the time, which one I like better. They're both so good. Um, this has got a gate full, but I still have it in the shrink, so. But uh, it's got a big poster in there. But it's got, you know, Take 54, the first song. I love that song. It's so good. It uh, just gets you right in the mood for it. This uh, slightly more... Um, aggressive belligerent album he did as a uh, kind of an F you to the uh, record studios it's, you know, it's just it's great joy is a classic song the lyrics of joy are so good joy you know turn on the radio you're breaking my heart it's one of the best songs I love it spaceman I'd rather be dead killer killer album love son of Schmilson. one of my favorite records okay now the top five in 1972 now, this is probably a lot of people's number one. Exile on Main Street, Rolling Stones, great record. You know, it's got Tumbling Dice and Happy. Those are the most known songs, but it's solid all the way through. Great record. It's kind of one of those records where you listen to it and you like a different song the best almost every time you hear it. Really killer record. Exile on Main Street, number five. Number four. That's yeah, number five. <laughs> okay, number four. We've got volume four, Black Sabbath. Killer, killer record from Sabbath. All this whole era of Black Sabbath is just so amazing. Um, you know, Supernaut. I love Supernaut. Cornucopia, St. Vitus Dance. Killer stuff. Wheels of Confusion. Amazing. Just an amazing record all the way through. Killer stuff. This is just a uh, NEMS repress, but it sounds really good. I'd like to find me an old Vertigo, but those are hard to get. Okay, at number three. Got a debut album. Blue Oyster Cult's debut, number three. I love this record. Um, they were very, they're just such a unique band. I always thought they were kind of a mixture of, say, if you'd mix Deep Purple, David Bowie, and Alice Cooper or something and just add a little bit of twisted, you know, it's got the hard rock, but it's also progressive. It's got a quirky sense of humor. You know, uh, Transmaniac on MC <laughs> starts just amazing. Every song's good on this. Titties on Flame with Rock and Roll. Killer, killer record. Their first couple uh, Blue Oyster Cult records are just blow me away every time I hear them. But this is uh, one of my very favorites of theirs. Killer, killer record. Blue Oyster Cult, number three. Number two. The most known... <laughs> I can't believe this is number two, but it is. It's Machine Head from Deep Purple. Just listen to this in my car. <laughs> Actually, such a great record. Um, you know, starting off with Highway Star, um, all the way through to Space Trucking. Got Smoke on the Water, Lazy. Um, you know, every song's killer on us. Never Before was actually going to be the first single from this that they thought was going to be the big hit. And didn't it be in Smoke on the Water, but Never Before is such a great song, too. Pictures of Home is great, such great instrumentation in that. It's got, like, starts off with this killer drumming and has a, you know, the... The keyboard solo, a guitar solo, a little bass solo. Killer music. Killer. Every song's good on this, of course. It's a classic for a reason. Machine Head, Deep Purple, number two. So number one. It's my favorite album by this band. One of my favorite bands. Rio Grande Mud from ZZ Top. Love this record. Um, the more I hear it, it just grows and grows on you. It starts off with the France scene and just got paid. Those are the two singles. Just got paid is one of my favorite songs. You know, and then it's got Mushmouth Shooting, Coco Blue, and Chevrolet to end up the first side, and they're all amazing. 
Apologies to Pearly's great. Barbecue is a great song. Sure Got Cold After the Rain Fell is a really long blues, slow bluesy number that's killer. Just killer blues song. Whiskey and Mama gets back into the heavy, heavy edge of it. And then Down Brownie, just an amazing record. Love Rio Grande Mud. ZZ Top, number one with Rio Grande Mud, 1972. So, number one, Rio Grande Mud. Number two, Machine Head from Deep Purple. Number three, the self-titled Blue Oyster Cult. Number four, Black Sabbath Volume 4. Number five, Exile on Main Street from the Rolling Stones. Number six, Son of Schmilson by Nilsson. Number seven, Steely Dan's Can't Buy a Thrill. Number eight, Made in Japan by Deep Purple. Number nine, Self-Titled Eagles. Number 10, Jim Croce, You Don't Mess Around with Jim. Number 11, Demons and Wizards from Uriah Heep. Number 12, School's Out from Alice Cooper. Number 13, Slade by Slade. Number 14, Harvest from Neil Young. Number 15, Jethro Tull's Thick as a Brick. Number 16, Got Argus from Wishbone Ash. Number 17, Lonesome Crow from the Scorpions. 18, The Slider from T-Rex. 19, Barnstorm from Joe Walsh. Number 20, Talking Book by Stevie Wonder. Number 21, Honky Chateau from Elton John. Number 22, Fog Hats Debut. Number 23, Jay Giles Band Live, Full House. Number 24, The World of the Ghetto by War. Number 26, Oh, no, number 25, Magician's Birthday, you're right, Heap. 26, uh, Shades from the Blue Orphanage from Thin Lizzy. 27, Obscure by Clouds, Pink Floyd. 28, The Rise and Fall of Ziggy Stardust and the Spiders of Mars from David Bowie. Number 29, Live at the Paramount from the Guess Who. And number 30, we got um, Foxtrot from Genesis. So there we go, that's, uh, that's my 1972. Be tackling 1973 next, and that's a great year as well. Um, killer debuts on that one, I know. Uh, I know one of, probably number one is going to be a debut on that, I'm sure. So, but it's a really great year. Um, all right, everybody, thanks for watching, and keep on rocking.